caution, watch for children crossing, and rust on episode three, Rustamania 2020. Let's take a closer look at some of this rust that we've exposed. Done a little bit more work on the front today. And got our ice cream sign down. And what do you think was behind that? More rust. You know, so we're definitely thinking of doing a whole new roof. Now well, let's take a look at where the sign was bolted into. And what do we have? More rust. See, this is where the bolts went in. And this was where the holes allowed water to run down and along our roof line, which caused the rust on the whole outside of the roof line around the whole truck. So we're looking at a complete roof replacement. Unless anyone got some bright ideas. We'll be happy to listen. There's the ice cream sign. And the other side of the truck. Possibly at one point in time, there was a stop sign that folded out here like you see on the school buses possibly. But we don't know, but it's definitely more rust. That's a solid door right here. And this isn't as bad on this side, but we definitely need to clean it up. We're gonna add some more rust over here. I guess looking on the bright side, it only gets better from here, right? Let's get a closer look at the roof line. You can see all the patchwork he's done. It's definitely a patch job for sure. Covered up a lot of rust holes that we didn't see. You know, but these are life lessons learned. To always do your homework, always do your research, and always ask questions before jumping into a, such a big commitment but also keeping a positive attitude and mindset the whole time through. Because like life, there are many ups and downs and obstacles. And this most certainly is a huge obstacle here. And this is the roof line on the passenger side where the serving window is. You know what we're thinking? Let's cut the roof right here. All across and pop this roof right off and if possible find one on another old truck at a junkyard which we may have and put it right back on top or fabricate a whole brand new roof and fiberglass top sailing possibly so many options stay tuned and see which way we take this ice cream truck down which road we turn. Let's take a closer look at the floor. Got some rust in this room along the seat. And over here where the back meets the front cab. And all along here to the wear well uh, on the tire well. top of the tire well. Show them that. 
Beautiful. If there's anyone out there that knows what kind of screw piece this is, they're all over this truck. Filled in with Bondo and painted over. Just absolutely impossible. This one right there. Another one right there. If anyone out there can tell me best ways to get these out, I'm all ears. Leave it in the comments below. Because the rest of this roof line is all drilled in with these screws that I cannot get and find the right attachment. Love some feedback. I just removed the two access panels above the windshield to access all the wires and all of the windshield wiper attachments. Take a look down there. Nothing pretty, just more rust. Well, it's been one of those days where you just keep finding more and more things that you're going to need to do and more and more money you're going to need to spend. But isn't that life? Speaking of life, let's see if she'll start up for us. It's the only good thing we got right now. Hold on. Let's give that starter a little tap. Well, thanks for joining us on another episode of Keeping the Quality High, episode 3 of the Ice Cream Truck. It's all about the base hits, not the home runs, as my man Wes Watson says. So keep your head up, stay positive, and remember, if you dream it, it's possible. Take care.